So Eddie Hearn does an interview with IFL TV. And in this interview, he said that if Wilder wants 40 percent, he can have it. Simple as that. He also goes on to talk about um, the purse bid that's going on between Tyson Fury and uh, Deontay Wilder. He also goes on to talk about the offers that he made towards Tyson Fury, simply saying that Tyson Fury did not request a percentage split, so therefore he wasn't offered one. But most importantly, one of the things that he said about Tyson Fury is, he said, don't expect 50-50 when Anthony Joshua, basically in a nutshell, when you're not even get 50-50 with Tyson Fury, I mean, no, with Deontay Wilder, and you won that fight. And that's a very good point. And that basically will close Tyson Fury out from asking for a ridiculous amount of money that, honestly, he doesn't deserve. But Eddie Hearn is right. How can you sit up here and ask me for a 50-50 split, okay, when you're doing a 60-40 split with Deontay Wilder? It doesn't make no sense. But most importantly, Eddie Hearn offered Deontay Wilder 40%. And I would just like to say, at this point, all excuses are eliminated. I mean, if he's telling us he's offering this man 40% plus a rematch clause, plus a percentage, and what else did he want? Um, oh, American, um, uh, um, an American fight location, meaning um, America is the option in the deal when it comes to fight locations. If he's offering him all that, at this point, there is nothing. I mean, it's not like it was before, but at this point, there is literally nothing left to think about. If you want 50-50, and if you're still seeking 50-50 at that, that clearly says that you believe you are going to lose the fight, so therefore you want as much out of the deal as you possibly can. You don't have zero amount of faith. You have zero amount of faith that you can go in there and actually win against Anthony Joshua in a hand-to-hand -hand combat fight. That's basically what you're saying, because at this point, Anthony Joshua is just offering too much. He's giving you 50%. He's giving you your rematch clause. He's giving you the option of fighting in America, um, I guess, exercise during the rematch clause. And he's giving you a very open and very prestigious window to become a undisputed heavyweight champion, which not a lot of people have done. That's offering a lot, man. That's a lot not to, that is a lot to pass up. It really is. That is passing up an awful lot. And especially if you're talking about, you're one of those people doing it for the sake of legacy for the sake of the best fighting the best, for the sake of unifying the division, you know, especially for that. But now you get 40% and you still batting your eyes at it and they still can't get a reaction out of you. Like I said, if this is not considered one of the biggest heavyweight ducks in history, well, I can't say in history because I wasn't always born, but I can at least say in the time that I have witnessed boxing, this has to be one of the most biggest and open heavyweight ducks that I have seen in my lifetime. And to make it matters even worse, to add insult to injury, you got an American heavyweight champion, so-called the baddest man on the planet, by the way, ducking a British fighter. I mean, almost every American deceased heavyweight champion is turning over in their grave right now. That's just the truth. Anyways, I'm going to leave the link in the description box so you guys can go and watch the video yourself, you know, and leave thoughts in the comment section. I'll get back at y'all. Bruce Van, I'm out.